It's hotter sounds and I'm outside again but no time to talk about why because Rachel Collier just uploaded a video called the greatest plugin ever. That's quite a big statement so let's take a look at it right now. Oh I'm in her, I'm in her way, I'm in her, there's her face look, there she is. Me and Rachel. Hi Rachel. I very rarely meet any women who are actually into production. In fact, one of the reasons why I split up with them is because they don't understand the time I spend on music. Oh, you're always doing that music. Why don't you come and watch a movie? No. But on to the video. Yes, everybody, Rachel K. Collier here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I think may be one of the best creative plugins I've ever used before. It's out today. It's a brand new collaboration between Andrew Huang himself and Baby Audio, and it's called Transit. To summarize the plugin in one line, it's a multi FX plugin. You've got 18 different effect modules to choose from that you can load into seven slots to all be used at the same time. I thought I'd set up a little bit of a live rig here, have a little jam with Transit and see how it sounds. I've got my Profit plugged in, SEO2. I have to admire people who actually take the time to set stuff up and get things all ready so they can do live performances. It's a trance banger people. Oh yeah. Go Rachel, show us how it's done. Nice reverb. Two, what's that? Two LPDs there. Oh, no, I'm in the way of the plug in here. Oops. There we go. There's the kick. That's what I was waiting for. Bit of a trance kind of house vibe going on here. Right, it's cool, but I want you to go to her channel and watch this video. So let's move forward to her talking about the plugin. God, I just love these textures so much. Let me show you how it works. We can load transit onto any channel, MIDI or audio. We've got our seven slots here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To again. load in one of our 18 different effects. And then with these little buttons in the middle, we can decide whether we send each of these effects. It looks quite nice. It's quite a nice... Um... Quite a nice looking plugin. The design, the UA is quite simple. Well, quite, we've got waveform. This is the first time I've seen this plugin from her video. So, what we got here? X. Interesting. Okay. Macro knob here to control everything at once. Or if we don't turn on the little yellow button, then it, we can just have it as a static effect. So if we click here, we get a little drop down menu of the 18 different effect modules we can choose from. Bit crusher, distortion. And then just here to the right, these little lines present a drop down menu with a little preset for each of the effect modules. If we come up to the top of the- I'm a reason user and I would need quite a lot of things. I like the, I like the design, I like the UI, it's pretty cool. It's separate things put into a, a device called a combinator. You can buy devices in order to do a similar thing. But so in my little jam then, I used quite a few of the transit presets. One way to make presets, oh, which is so much fun, is the randomized little dice up here. We click that and we're just going to get a huge random combination to send to our macro knob. I MIDI mapped the main macro knob to three different knobs on my MIDI fighter. And I also map the on and off button. So when I push down the button, it turns the effect on. You can see it coming into action. A nice simple one, a filter delay and OTT. And for the second vocal loop here, this is a really cool feature. You can change the... How would you modulate that though? 
when I'm modulating in Reason, each device has its own individual modulation lane, modulate each. However, you get this device with like so many different things going on. Each knob and each button inside a Reason can be modulated, right? If I was using this in Reason, I'd basically have a whole entire wall of modulation. You've got how many buttons there you got for the, on this? If you modulate the whole entire thing, you've got about 35 different modulations and then each one of these menus that comes up on here, that's another 10 so each. I can understand it can be mapped and for live performance. So you can actually I'm tell way. transit when you want the effect to come off. My third little vocal loop is quite funny. If you hear it dry, see there's lots more automations going on with transit here we go here's the automations cool okay so effects. it's so i hope that's enough to get you going that's... yeah the way laberton's laid out i'm trying i'm struggling to um work out how that would correlate to using it in reason because laberton's um, modulation is different so in ableton the modulation lines go underneath the actual thing you're modulating inside the clip Whereas Reason has the, you know, the MIDI or the audio, and then underneath that they have the modulation lines, and then for each device, effects device, they have their own track line, the modulation line. Yeah, it's a lot more um, windows and stuff to look through in Reason than what there is in Ableton. So as well as being an incredible sound design effect tool for all your sounds in your productions and a live setup, I know that when Andrew and Baby Audio were designing Transit, one of their main focuses was to try and make the workflow of creating a transition easier. So let's get into it. I'm going to trigger a little kick drum here. Another little drum riff. Main riff from the song. And I would build up all these clips, get the audience going. And then I would trigger the next scene and move into the actual song. Get the audience going. I'm the audience. Okay, and now I'm going. Do the classic. Turning the plugin on. Every Me and the scene. bugs and the birds are really enjoying this. Oh, the way again. So much better. I love it. Okay, now let's try another one. So next up we're going to try Sweep Up and Out. So this is a filter 24, a reverb, delay and the utility. Here we go, I think this one sounds a bit more burly. Yeah, I find it a bit... All those different effects put into one thing. I think I just prefer to just do one thing at a time and have um, each device just to do its own thing. I'm not sure I'd like a, a massive multi-effects plugin. And I'm not going to play any more of the video. I'll leave a link in the description. <coughs> I think I've seen enough thing to do modulation like echo reverb. Obviously, I prefer to have separate devices. It does look good, but I don't think I'd use it. It'd be something that I maybe get and then just go back to what I'm normally using, unless I'm using Ableton, which I'm not. So there you go. That is my reaction to Rachel K. Collier. There you go. So it's a it's a decent looking plugin. Will I get it? Probably not.